This box full of beads is a device we call a bead box. It's used in statistics and in quality classes in order to simulate processes. Here's how it works. The student would take a scoop like this, which will pick up 50 beads, put it in, and based on the color of the beads, make some kind of determination of the population based on this sample of 50 beads. Now, the way we would use this in a quality class, a lab we had the students do, this was a simulation where the students would call the colored beads to be different types of shirts coming out of a textile production process. A white bead would be a shirt that's perfectly okay. A green bead might have a messed up collar. A yellow bead might have something ripped on the cuff. A red bead would have a button missing or loose. A blue bead would probably have a sleeve, sleeve that's misaligned. And a brown bead could represent a label that's misaligned. So the student would uh, take a sample and look at the colored beads that came out. Here's a sample of 50, and we'll see uh, we have two yellow beads, which means uh, two bad cuffs, one red bead, which means one uh, bad button, and a green bead, which means a collar that's messed up in the process. And the students would take a number of samples simulating the production of sh uh, shirts throughout the day, and they would chart to see if something happened to the process. And if they kept jamming the paddle in, counting the beads, and then dumping them back in and doing it over and over, they actually should not see any change. And it was kind of depressing to see how many students thought they saw the process go out of control. Now, you could simulate the process going out of control if you were a sneaky instructor by changing the mix of the beads. If I suddenly introduce many more green beads, mix it up, the next sample that we get should indicate Get 50 there. Suddenly we have a one, two, three, four green beads there. That means that we have four messed up collars. And we have uh, one uh, cuff and one uh, bad sleeve. This would indicate the process has changed. But of course, in order to do that while the students are taking the samples, the instructor would do something that the students saw, so it probably would not be a challenge to determine when the uh, distribution changed. Now, we wondered if we could come up with a way of simulating that where the instructor would have more control and the students would better understand the simulation, better relate to the production of shirts. And so we created a digital online simulation.